Oh my god, Demir is coming. You're going to pay for what you did, Oslem. Stop it! Will you marry me, Oslem? Demir? Afraid of that? <laughs> Demir? Where is Aishigul? Where is she? I did it. I got rid of him. Now to find my way back home. Oslem. Oslem! <gasps> Let go Uslam. of me! Stop following me! It's over! No, nothing's uh, over. It will be over when I say it is, uh, not you! Uh, help me! Uh, Shut your mouth! Keep quiet! This man is trying to kill me! This is none of your business. This is a private uh, matter. Move on, get out! You cannot harm me, nor anyone else who is here in this place, Demira Korjan. How... how do you know my name, old man? Are you a cop or something? Who are you? Where am I? We are here at the crossroads. Where your worldly life ends and the eternal life you deserve begins. I'm not buying what you're selling. I get it. You're some kind of cop. You can't do anything without evidence. Can't I? Don't you have a conscience? Here, we don't need any type of evidence other than that which your conscience will give to us. Excuse me, but I have to return home as soon as possible. My grandmother and my kid sister, they're both waiting for me. Demir, you can't escape from yourself or from your conscience or from all the choices you made throughout your entire life. God is aware even of the tiniest detail. Nothing is too small. Why are you talking like we're dead? Because you are dead. <sighs> yeah, right. That's stupid. How can I be dead? I don't feel any pain and I'm not bleeding at all, you see? No, I can't be dead. No way. I'm not dead. I didn't die. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. No, I'm not. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, <laughs> What's wrong with you? Sister, why are you crying Honey, like that? we have to, baby. Come on now. Come I am not now. some dead guy. Oh, my girl. Who died? Show some respect, please. There are dead people over there, Demir. So what am I doing here? Demir! So you know him. May God forgive his sins. Oh, Demir. What are you talking uh, about, Grandma? He's dead. He... I'm alive, Aishagul. I'm right behind you. And did you know her? My sister. God, no. <laughs> my no. baby, my baby. Aishagul, <laughs> stop crying. I'm standing right here. Nothing happened. Do you hear me? I'm here. Grandma, I'm here. Please stop crying, you two. You'll make me start crying, too. No, I, can't. I can't be dead. No, I'm not dead. There's no way. No! Oh, no! 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 I, I am dead. I'm not alive anymore.
anymore. This isn't happening. I'm just hallucinating, that's all. You can't see your own corpse if you're already dead. Can you? You can see your body because you are dead. Now you will be given a chance to see the entirety of your life and evaluate it, Demir Korjan. But the difference between this place and the worldly one is that you won't be able to lie or cheat other people. You mean we'll be held accountable for everything we ever did in our lives? Your good deeds will be placed on one side of the scale, bad deeds to the other side, and at the same time you will meet people. These people will confront you about whatever you did to them in life. Confront, confront me? Everyone's here! Grandmother! Aishigul! You mean we can't go back? That's right. Your life is done. You will never be able to return to it. Only devotion to God, possessing a clear conscience, and having honorable intentions will save you in your confrontation today. My God, I'm so screwed. I'm so ashamed. Please, God, have mercy on me. And now for you. You can't buy your way into heaven, so how much money you have made is of no consequence. Here the focus is on the type of life you have led and how you have treated others. It is the time for the questioning. Oh yes, now is the time for the both of you to face the consequences of your actions. But wait, what about all of the sins we committed unknowingly? What are you talking about, huh? The person who leads someone astray is the person who will have to take responsibility for both his sins and those of his follower. However, those that follow also have to pay for the consequences of their bad behavior. This point of law is the most important aspect of justice. Everyone is accountable for their actions. He means some poor idiot has to take the fall. Not quite. Everyone whose lives you touched gets to confront you about your past behavior. They get to point out how you may have hurt them, or how you may have helped them. Now then, it is your turn to tell me of your lives. Well, I used to love life, but not too passionately. Although I suffered losses, I knew that those were a way to test me and my faith. What were your losses? <laughs> My mother died when I was just a little girl, and Papa left us in Grandmother's care. We were poor, but I always had hope. I lived with my sister and my grandma. I had a job at a hotel, and I was paying to send my sister to school. Aslam, good morning. Good morning to you, sir. Is Dilek here? Not just yet, but she should be here any minute, uh -huh. sir. She'd better get here. It's getting close to 
Oslem, good morning. Good morning, Dilek. You're late. Is anything wrong? No, no, nothing is wrong. I just overslept. Dilek, stop! What happened? Mm. Who did this to you? My dad did it. My dad, Oslem. Dilek. <laughs> Dilek, please don't cry. <laughs> So, what happened? I stayed out late last night, Oslem. We had a big fight when I got home. He hit you because you were late? It's always the same thing. I can't go on like this. He doesn't even try to understand me. He forgets the fact that I'm young and I have a life. He takes away all the money I make. And if he catches me trying to keep some, that's when he starts beating me up. Okay, okay. Please don't cry. It's gonna be alright, Dilek. We'll find a way to fix it. God'll help guide us. No way, Oslem. I can't go back home. Even if I wanted to, he wouldn't take me back. What am I gonna do? What do you mean, what will you do? You'll stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> you can move in with us tonight. Thanks a lot, Oslem. Of course. Okay. Have a nice evening, sir. Thank you. Yes, yes, you do the same. Dilek, don't be late tomorrow. All right? Okay. We'll forget about today. I called my grandma. She was so happy to hear that you'll be staying with us, she started to cry. She said, I'll cook my famous tomatoes and rice dish. She does things like that. <laughs> Please, Delek, don't look so sad. This is just the beginning of your wonderful new life away from all that trouble. Come on, we're gonna be late for the bus. Hey, Oslem, why don't... You go. I'll be there in about an hour, okay? Why? I've got something to do. I need to stop by somewhere. It's very important. Then I'll go with you. Um, I'm worried about you out alone. No, no. You go ahead. I'll be there in a little bit, okay? All right. Your call. But don't forget to come. Of course. I'll be there. See you later. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to get in for a week. Everybody says it's the best place, huh? God help my friend. Please, God. I don't know what she's up to, but I feel like she's headed down the wrong road. Help her, God. Show the right path to both of us. Please, God, help my lost friend. Please, I beg of you. What's wrong? I think she passed out. 
My God, what are we gonna do? Delek, uh, calm down. Uh, She's going to be okay. Are you a friend of Delek's? How do you know her name? From the club. I go there once in a while. My name is Demir. I'm Aslam. I really appreciate this. You saved Delek's life. Not a big deal. Anyone would do the same thing. But wait, I don't understand what's going on. How did this happen? It was like she didn't even know me, like, like a ghost. She's so depressed. She's been having problems with her dad for quite a while now. I know. Maybe she's suffering from a major depressive episode. What? I'm a psychology student. I mean, when someone is having a really tough time, sometimes they withdraw as a way to protect themselves from the pain. They don't talk to anyone, feel sad all the time, don't eat, and sleep a lot. You need to watch them carefully. Like you said, they act like ghosts. Oh no. Dilek? Oh, sweetheart. Is her condition really that serious? May God help her. Yeah, I think so. If she has nowhere to spend the night, I'm not sure what to do. She has. She's staying with me. We talked about it today. Oh, really? Yes. Let's take her home very quickly then. She needs some rest. Please don't trouble yourself. I'll take care of her. No problem. Not really. <sighs> what are friends for? Come on, Delek. Come on, Delek. Come on, baby. <clears throat> Come on, baby. He took Delek in his arms and carried her to the taxi. He kept saying the whole time that everything would be all right. He's such a sweet guy and very smart, too. I haven't seen you this excited about a guy you met for a very long time, Uslem. It's not that, you know. He just likes helping others. I liked his attitude. Grandma met him, too. Mm-hmm. Your sister is telling the truth. He seems like a good, fine young man. I asked him to come in and have a cup of tea. But he said it was late and he didn't want me to go to any trouble, so he left. <laughs> <laughs> and because I was studying at Osley's, I missed meeting the incredible Mr. Demir. Poor me. Well, it sounds like we'll be seeing him a lot these days. Aishikul, <laughs> watch what you say. You don't want to lose your allowance. Mm -hmm. Dilek, honey. Good morning, dear. You scared us to death last night. I'm so, so sorry about that. Are you that. all right, Dilek? Why are you apologizing? It could happen to anyone. Here, sit down and eat. You can't start your day off right without a good breakfast. Mm. <sighs> Dilek, you haven't said a word all morning. What's going on? You can tell me. Oh, Ozlem, you're such a good person. I mean that you're so good. But I think I'm causing you a lot of trouble. Yesterday was the first day I was supposed to stay with you. And look what happened. I think maybe I should just... I don't want to hear that again, Dilek. You call me a good person, but you don't know how pig-headed I can be. Look, when I get mad, I can turn into a monster. <laughs> From now on, until you've worked out everything with your father, you're going to live with us in our house, okay? But I'm going to need your help here, and I'll help you make things right with your dad. Together we'll fix everything. Is that okay? Good morning. Good morning, Demir. How do you two know each other? Oh, uh... It was Demir who brought you home last night. Mm. Sorry, I don't really remember too much about last night. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted to check on how you're doing. I thought we could grab some breakfast together. We already ate, and we're running late. But thanks anyway, Demir. Okay. Then why don't we have dinner after work tonight? What do you say? I don't know. What do you think, Oslam? Okay. Sounds good. Thanks a lot. So much fun hanging out with you. I feel the same way. You're really fun to be with. Hey, can I see you tomorrow? I don't know. We've seen each other almost every day for two weeks. What will all the neighbors <laughs> say? Tomorrow's no good because it's Uslam's fasting day. Why did you tell him about that? What difference does it make? Why shouldn't he know about it? But it's not Ramadan. Why do you fast? Well, it's not really obligatory. My grandma oh. taught me that Monday and Thursday fastings are sunnah. So I fast whenever I can. It's really no big deal. Well, good for you. Uh, well, when will we meet again? How about the day after tomorrow? That is, if you're available that day. Works for me. See you then. Have a good night. <laughs>
Earth to Oslem! Earth to Oslem! When are you gonna land, eh? <laughs> Come on, stop it! <laughs> Come on, what on earth is keeping him? I've been waiting here for over a half hour. Demir, what are you doing? You scared me half to death. Not as much as you've scared me. How? You stole my heart away. What? Will you marry me, Oslem? that I don't have any family. I know, son. Uslam has told me about you. So I have no one to stand up for me in this matter. I apologize. No need to apologize. I, uh... <laughs> I just wanted to ask, uh, I would like to ask for your permission to marry Uslam. I love her and I promise to do everything in my power to make her very, very mm -hmm. happy. I have no doubts, my son, that you're a very good person. I know my granddaughter's heart. And I know that Uslam loves you very much, and we love her too with all our hearts. Mm -hmm. Like you, she grew up without parents. May God bless her. She has worked since she was a little child. She takes care of me and pays for her sister's school. Very few people would make that type of sacrifice. I expect you to sacrifice too. Please don't separate us. Come and live with us. We would all live here happily under one roof. When you finish school and find a job, then you and Uslam can have your own home. What do you think about that? Can we all be together? What do you say? Demir? 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 Uh, Demir? Demir? Now what? Do you know what time it happens to be, Demir? I don't... Is it noon yet? It's not, Demir. It's not. It's after dark. I got up, I went to work, I worked hard all day long, and now I'm home. And that whole time, you've been sleeping in bed. So what's the big deal? It gets dark early in the winter and people think that it's late at night. I just slept a couple of extra hours, that's all. A couple of hours? A couple of hours? Demir, it is 6.30. 6.30 in the evening. What about your classes? What classes? What do you mean by what classes, Demir? I couldn't make it. I couldn't. It's too late now. Of course it's too late. You've been doing nothing but sleeping for days and days. You sleep like someone who's dead. Okay, okay, shut up. I'm starving. Just make me something to eat. But... Hurry up!
Hey, where are you going? I'm going to find Demir. No, you don't want to do that. Well, Demir's my husband. Oh, okay. I'll go in then. Demir? Demir? Muslim, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Demir, what's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Get out of here, Muslim. Get out! Go! Demir, I beg you, come with me. This is insane. Please get out of here and okay. come with me now. Okay, Uslam, I promise I will. Please go now and I will come later. Why have you come here anyway? Hey, you! Why did you let this woman in? Hey, she said she was your wife. Will you let in anyone that claims to be my wife? Demir! Demir, stop this craziness and come with me right now. Please, come with me right now or... Or, or what? What? I swear I'll divorce you, Demir! No, you can't divorce me, Uslam, please. Because I love you so much. Stop talking crazy, Demir. I'm not talking crazy, Uslem. I really love you. If you really loved me, you would come home with me right now. Uslem, please go back home now. I'll be home soon. If I leave here alone, it's over. You choose what's important to you. <sighs> Dilek? <laughs> How could you do this to me? How? Don't you have any morals at all? You deceived me and my whole family. Why? How could you do that? It was the worst moment in my life. The person I considered my best friend had deceived me. The deceiver is guilty. What about you who were deceived? Dilek was my friend. Why shouldn't I believe her? <laughs> First of all, Dilek was addicted to drugs. Those in her condition, their bodies craving poison, can you trust them to speak truthfully? I can't. And it's all because of this man. He took advantage of me. I did. I lied to her. But you believed whatever I told you because you wanted to. I never forced her to. But you're a smart man. Why then did you resort to lying? Well, like every other act, I had to lie to get what I needed from other people. Why did you start taking drugs? I just couldn't keep up with life. I didn't know why I existed. I couldn't figure out where I came from and how I would end up. I wanted to escape from it all. Life didn't mean anything to me. Did the drugs solve these problems you had? Oh, uh, yeah. At least... I didn't think about the problems. They relaxed me. I felt like I was floating above the clouds. So while your feet were down, your mind was above. Two places at once. But you didn't escape. What you tried to avoid has finally caught up with you. And now, you will answer for what you've done. Uh, but my addiction hurt nobody. Oh no? What about the life entrusted to you by God? Okay. But this life belongs to me. It's my life to live. When you were given the blessing of life, what did you give in return? Do your organs work on your command? Or by the blessings of the Supreme Being? What right did you have to waste this gift of life? I told him many times that he should stop taking drugs. So I did my job, didn't I? And I promised I would stop. Why did you make that promise to me? Because I didn't want to lose my family. But it was a lie, wasn't it? That's all he ever did. There was no end to his lies. <laughs> In the name of merciful God. May God accept your prayer. Amen, Grandma. When will you put an end to that fasting issue, Aslam? You spend two days every week hungry. Hopefully never, Demir. And as long as I'm healthy, I'll fast. And it's none of your business. Okay, honey. Okay. My son, fasting on Mondays and Thursdays is sunnah. Do not mistake fasting for starving. Mm. Mm. So, how is school going, my son? School is going pretty well, Grandma. I'm graduating this year. Then I'll be able to really take care of you. God willing, son. God willing. Then we can move out of this house and move into a better one. 
What's wrong with our house? You misunderstand me. Our house is fine, but we should be living in a much nicer one, right? This is Grandma's house, Demir. It's not ours or yours, it's hers. I'll make some tea. Would you like some? Yes, please. <laughs> hey, honey, why don't we go out? All we do is sit at home. Let's go out for a walk or something. I'm bored with all this studying. I'd rather just stay home, okay? She doesn't want to waste money. But I feel like the bad husband who can't take his wife out. She's so tense. But I don't even have a penny in my pocket. I have some money, son. I'll lend it to you. Why don't you ask me? It's clear that she's bored. Anything to help Uslam. Take this, son. It's all because of me. I'm so ashamed, don't Grandma. Be. Just take it. Demir, what are you doing? It's nothing, honey. Don't be angry. You'll return that money right now, Demir. Don't you think it would be an insult? You're insulting. Grandma just wanted to help us out a bit. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, <clears throat> now is there? Please, dear. You really should get out. Go on. Take some fresh air. Have a cup <laughs> of tea or some dessert. Get going, my precious girl. Go. Thank you so much, Grandma. Thank you. My pretty girl. <sighs> Uslam, could you wait for me, please? No, I can't. Uslam! I don't even want to look you in the eye. Why, Uslam? What for? Because you are one big fat liar, Demir. How can you try to deceive somebody who is so pure and so kind and who treats you like you are her real son? It's not possible that anybody could be so selfish and heartless. It is possible. It's possible because of heroin, Uslem. Heroin turns a man into a liar and a monster. Because if you try it once, it makes your head so high you don't feel any of those problems at all and nothing can touch you. You don't even remember that conscience exists in mankind. You mean it makes you feel and behave like you're not even a human being anymore? Oh. There is only one thing in this world that reminds me I'm still a human being. It is you, Uslem. I won't believe any more lies. Don't you love me, Uslem? I wish that you had let me love you, Demir. But you didn't. You didn't even try to change for me. And you promised me that you would do that. No, I couldn't. But you changed for me. We could do this thing together. What are you talking about? Heroin. Please try it just once. It's great. It's really wonderful. Once we're both doing it, our love will be so... Where are you going? Don't you know where I'm going? All right, then. Go! And don't you ever come back here! Just go!
Islam, sweetheart. Grandma. What happened? Where is Demir? He's not with me, Grandma. Did you have an argument, honey? We did. It happens between husbands and wives, honey. But you have to be patient. Be careful not to break his heart. Grandma, we... Demir is not as good as you think. He is... He's a... Islam, look, my girl. I see that you have a problem. You smile less, you talk less. But don't forget that if God permits, all the problems have remedies. Every problem has a solution. Grandma, this is not a problem that can be easily fixed. Because Samir... Sweetheart, I won't get mad at you or get offended. Tell me what it is. Grandma, Samir... What? <laughs> what are you doing outside in the freezing cold, huh? We were having a chat, my son. Uh, I think you were talking about me, Grandma. I broke her heart. I offended her. But I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, Grandma. Please forgive me. Ask forgiveness from her, not me. Oslem. I'm so sorry. I can't see your eyes. Uh... I can't see your eyeballs. You're on that damn stuff again. No way, Demir. I won't forgive you. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't upset her again. I hope so, son. She is such a nice girl. She doesn't deserve this. Looking for something, son? No, not a big deal. I was just looking. Have a good night. Okay, good night, son. Oslin? Are you sleeping? Osla? Don't try to talk to me, Demir. I'm going to file for a divorce as soon as possible.
Uslan, are you asleep? Uslan. I want you to understand me. How could you do this to me? Tell me. Because I'm in love with you, Oslem. Because I don't want you to abandon me, okay? When you will be addicted to this, you will be addicted to me. Do you understand? Everything's going to be fine. Mm. Why did you poison your wife? Because... Because she was my wife. She had to be just like me. Those who are involved in wickedness want to infect others with their wickedness, hoping it will lessen their own sin. Indeed, they think the more people they corrupt, their sin will go unnoticed, and they'll avoid judgment. But no one can escape their final accounting. I know, but at least I... You wanted to drag her down with you. I did. And Uslan, you were aware that you were given heroin, weren't you? Yes, sir. What did you do after that? I became addicted to that poison. What did you do about it? Did you try to find treatment? I didn't know what was happening. What could I do? You could have sought medical attention. I got really angry with Demir. I yelled at him, but I didn't go to a doctor. In the very beginning, <laughs> you were innocent. You didn't know the power that the poison would exert over your entire personality, did you? Why didn't you call upon your faith? I wanted to, but my husband ridiculed me. You knew better. You could have called upon the power of prayer to come to your aid, but you chose not to. Your choice will be considered upon the scales. But why? He's the guilty one, not me! Demir, behave like every other person who decides to experiment with narcotics. How's that? These drugs, including alcohol, are the root of all evil. First you start with them, then you start telling lies. But my lies were to escape my life. This is a lie to justify your lie. Lies give birth to other lies. Then comes the vulgar crimes. No, no. I was never involved in anything that low. What difference does it make if the mistake was committed in a palace, or if it was committed under a bridge? What is the advantage of the crime scene to the one committing the crime? Your crimes were made worse when your wife joined you. <laughs> That's right. His need for drugs took over our lives. It was all we thought about every day. But I kept trying to find a way that I could divorce him. I'll be right back. Very good, sir. Oslem, don't put the flowers there. Put them over there. Sorry, sir. I'll fix it right now. I've told you this many times. I have no idea where your mind is. My guests will be here any minute. You be careful when they come, please. Their satisfaction is our only concern. Of course, sir. <gasps> oh. 
What is wrong with you, for God's sake? I don't know what's gotten into me. Oslan, you've been acting so weird lately. You are aware of it, aren't you? Yes? No? Is there something going on? Are you using anything? Oh, no. I've been very happy with your work until a very short time ago. But you don't work efficiently lately. You're like a ghost. Your actions do not make sense at all. But, sir... There is no but. I have to give you a break now. If you get better and become yourself again, and you're able to do this job the way you're used to, you're always welcome back here. I see. Okay. You have to leave now. Pick that up first. How do you feel? That shot was something else, huh? You stay away from me, and don't step into our house anymore. Really? Where am I gonna go? You're my wedded wife. Demir, I am very serious. If you try to come near us, it won't be good for you. What if I don't give you what you need from me? What will you do then, huh? Do whatever you want! If you come anywhere near me or my family again, I will call the police and report you. <laughs> I have lost everything in my life. I just got fired today. How am I going to explain that to my grandma and my sister? I don't want to ever lose them. I love my sister and my grandmother so much. I won't let you be close to them anymore. And what if I hurt them? Afraid of that? I'm not afraid of anybody except God. I know how to make you scared of me. Good luck. Listen to me. I have a little job for you. Aishigul, what are you doing here? Aishigul, your sister. Is something wrong with her? She's sick. You better come with me. But she went to work this morning. What's she doing with you? There's no time. Hurry up. We have to do something. Where's my sister now? In a house in Balat. We can take a taxi. Up here. Come on. Come on in. Over here for a minute. I brought you the girl. Now give me the stuff. Good job. You did well, but you're gonna have to wait for a while. We'll have excellent stuff in a couple of hours. You idiot. How am I gonna make her wait that long? I could barely get her here. Keep her busy. That is, if you want to, offer her something to drink. Water, coffee, anything. You know what to put in your drink better than me. You are such a loser. Well, this loser has exactly what you need. <laughs> Aishagul, is that you, sweetie? Isn't Aishagul in yet? Not yet. It's been an hour since the students got out. For God's sake, where could she be? Oh. She might be hanging out with her girlfriends down at the store. She'll come back soon. Uh, 
Özlem, özlem, özlem. <laughs> Come here, kiddo. <laughs> Get out of here, all of you. Get out. Are you serious? Hurry up. Hey. Get out. Noise, Johnny. Come on. My fix. Come on, go. Get out of here right now. Come on, you too. Come on, come on, come on. Move it. Move. I can't just sit here and wait. I'll go look for her. She's never this late. You're going to give me a stroke. Why did you pick up that knife? Do you know if Icicle is in trouble? Grandma, calm down and wait. I promise I'll bring her back safely. <sighs> Please, God, protect my granddaughters. Here you go. That's for your capable service. Excuse me, can you help me? Do you know the guys living in that house? I'm looking for Demir and Alec. Yeah, I recognize you. Do you need stuff? Are you buying? Yeah, I am. They hang out in a house in Balat these days. He gave me the address in case I ever need to get stuff from him. You can keep it. Hey, is it ready? Hey, it's Demir's wife. Where is Aishagul? Uh, Where is she? Who's Aishagul? Uh, Aishagul? <laughs> what are you doing to my sister, your mother? What are you doing? Where the hell did you come from? Uh, uh, you bastard. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I should go wake up. I should go come on, honey. Help me, baby. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. That's it. Okay, see you later. Where did you find her? What's wrong with her? She's fine, Grandma. She was out of friends. She just has an upset stomach. She'll be okay in the morning. Uslam, please wait. Tell me what's going on. If she had been with her friends, why did you take a knife with you? 
What is wrong with you? I'll explain everything later, Grandma. It's not a big deal. Go to bed. I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, God help us. Islam, baby, what have you done to yourself? I will explain everything to you when I'm all right, but not now. Please, I'll explain it to you in the morning. I'm so sorry, Grandma. So sorry, Grandma. Oh. God, what is happening to us? Please, God, protect us. Help my granddaughter. Show her, oh God. <laughs> Baby, sit down. Demir, he and Dalek are heroin addicts, but I didn't know when we got married. One night when I was asleep, he injected me with heroin. He turned me into a heroin addict. Now I can't control myself. I've lost my job, and I almost lost my baby sister. I almost lost her. Calm down, baby. We'll find a way out. God doesn't give us troubles without solutions. This one has a solution. Come on, stop crying. I'll help you. Uslam, open the door. Uh, open uh, it. Uslam. Don't, baby. If you don't, I'll tell everybody what kind of person you are. Uslam, open the door. I'll tell on you. Why don't you stop? Haven't you done enough already? But look at what you did to me. Do you know how much money I had to pay for the doctor? So pay me back! We don't have any money for you. Leave us alone or else. Don't ever go near my grandchildren again. For God's sake, I won't control myself. Now get out of here. Uslam? 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 Quick! Call an ambulance! Sweetheart, my baby. Uslam, ma'am. Do you want to talk in private or would you like to do it here? Right here is fine. As you already know, you're addicted to heroin. I'll transfer you to the appropriate clinic. However, your other condition could be a problem, so we have to talk about it first. I need to know what you want to do about it. Condition? The baby. Did you say the baby? You mean you didn't know that you're pregnant? No, I didn't. Then you have to make up your mind. Under your circumstances, it is risky to have the baby. It would probably be born unhealthy. <laughs> However, if you want to have the baby, there are lots of ways to find out about the baby's condition. Like ultrasound and some other tests. Think about it for a while. 
Then we can discuss it in detail later. There's no need to think about it. The baby would be sick. I want an abortion. Uslam baby, don't make a rash decision. Think about it. Doctor, can you give us a minute? I'd like to speak with my granddaughter. Honey, I know this is difficult, but please think about it. No, Grandma. I don't deserve a baby anyway. Don't you realize the baby will probably be a drug addict? Why don't you get the tests run first, then make up your mind? Please do this for me. The test results are surprising, even unbelievable, and very positive. Meaning? You can give birth. You have a healthy baby. But this is a very difficult process. Since you are pregnant, you will be given a special drug treatment. This will be hard on both your finances and your addiction. It will take quite a toll on you. Grandma, let's give it up. How will we pay for these expensive treatments? With this and that. But it's your Hajj pilgrimage money. I can't let you do this, Grandma. We're talking about your health and your baby's health. We're not talking about my pilgrimage. Your treatment starts tomorrow. With God's permission, you will free yourself of this poison and you will have a healthy baby. But I won't be able to work for a while. How are we going to afford Aishugul's school and our home expenses? It will all work out with God's help. I can even sell the house if needed. But don't think about that now. Concentrate on making yourself healthy. You carry a great responsibility now. So save your strength for that. I think I want to lay down for a while. Honey, today is Thursday. We used to pray on Thursdays. You used to fast. Let's do it now, like the old days. I think you'll feel much better. I'm too ashamed, Grandma. How will I pray to God and ask for His forgiveness? I've made so many mistakes. I don't know how to free myself from those mistakes now. We all make mistakes, honey. But the best thing to do is to be honest about those mistakes with God. Come on. It's all right.
Come here, baby. I'll help you back into bed. I'll sit by you until you go to sleep. Tomorrow will be a new day. Will it be, Grandma? Pray to God, baby. The prayers will be your strongest weapons in this fight. Come on. As you know, narcotics treat everyone the same. Those who become addicts become monsters. That's what you did to your wife. And you wanted to do the same to your sister-in-law. Why would you do that? Aishagul wanted me to. And I could tell that Uslem wanted me to hook her sister so she wouldn't be alone. Once again, you cannot help but lie. Every crime that you committed, you knew was a crime. Do you know how many murders you caused after you started selling drugs? No! I don't know! All of your actions are recorded here. You'll face them all one by one. What about the families whose hopes you demolished and whose nights you made even darker? I have no idea! <laughs> how about making people suffer? Didn't you know you would face them one day? And how about the health risk you created? And the burden you created for society? You'll answer for them, too. Okay, but you can't blame me for everything. 
Everyone must answer for their choices in life. The employees who helped you, everyone who assisted your corrupting business, they will also be interrogated in their time. <laughs> oh God, why pick on me? God created a world so pure. Anyone who pollutes it by their actions, no matter their reasons, will be held responsible by him. Mercy, I didn't want this to happen to me, and I saved my sister from it. That's true. Your days on Earth were filled with both the good and the bad. I know. My problems finally caught up with me. I wanted to die, and then... When I couldn't bear it, I thought... I thought... I thought about killing my own baby. <laughs> How did you escape from these dark thoughts? Grandma... She reminded me of the things that I hadn't thought about for a long time. What things were they? Things like my faith... and the hereafter. She reminded me of God's forgiveness regardless of everything else. She told me to keep saying my prayers. Performing obligatory <laughs> prayers, like those you said, become second nature and fill up your thoughts. Those who say them become alert to the will of God. When you do that, you stop yourself from living a sinful life. That is exactly what I did. I chose not to kill myself. I said no to an abortion. It would have been wrong. I just couldn't do it. How could I explain that to God? When you prayed, you became aware of what God wants you to do. You heard Him, and so you filled up the void in your life. I stopped performing my prayers when I started to use drugs. That's when I started to lose my faith. <laughs> the devil lays thousands of traps for us. At every corner, he comes out with a new trick to frighten you. Sometimes, he makes you love him, and sometimes he threatens you. But... his tricks weren't affecting me anymore. When I headed towards God, I remembered my real self. But then I became consumed with the fear that I would never be a good mother for my baby. <laughs> My baby. My baby. How's my baby? She is such a healthy baby, oh, honey. God bless her. She is a very healthy baby. We are face to face with a miracle. Thanks be to God. I'll name her Elif. Elif. <laughs> baby. Congratulations, Daddy. What are you talking about? Oslem delivered three months ago. Uh, You're the father of a baby girl. I saw an old friend at work. She heard the news. How come I didn't know about her? How did they manage to hide this news from me? I guess they're afraid of you. And why not? What kind of father would you be? They can be scared of me. But they can't get rid of me. Dilek, do you know where they live? You really don't know? I heard that they sold the house. That means they must have money now. Uslam can't get rid of me this easy. I'll find out where they live. I still have what Uslam wants. And what she needs. Why don't you just leave her alone, Demir? Why don't you let her get off these drugs? Because nobody ever gets off this stuff. Do you understand? Nobody! <laughs> I'm off to buy diapers, Grandma. All right, sweetheart. Everything will be okay, right, Grandma? 
I hope so, my girl. I hope so, honey. Come here, shut up! Let me go! What are you doing here? Did you forget? I'm your baby's father! She's my daughter too! How did you find me? It's a small world. And it's getting much smaller. Know what I mean? What happened to you? I loved you, Uslan. You've changed. Demir, please. I beg you, leave us alone! If you have any amount of love for me left and you leave us alone. Grandma, I'm going to go to Gamze's to study. Don't worry if I'm late, okay? Okay, honey. Enjoy yourself. Take care. Don't worry, Grandma. Goodbye. All right. Off you go now. I loved you, Uslem, but you disappointed me, damn it. You didn't love me, and you wouldn't share my life with me either. Your life can't be called a life, Demir. Your life was such a mess, it was disgusting. But you loved it too, didn't you? You know that. You can't live without this stuff the rest of your life. You won't be able to resist it. Get this stuff away from me now, or I'll call the police! Listen, if it's in your hand and you can resist its power, then you deserve to be a mother. But, if you can't resist, then I think you'd better come back with me to the life you're meant to live. Uslam, uh, how could you do this? How Honey, could you? My beautiful sister, you misunderstood. Please believe me. I saw you do it with my own eyes. Don't you believe me? I wish I could. Oh. Sweetheart, what happened? I saw him. I saw Demir. She got drugs from him again. I saw her with my own eyes. <sighs> what will become of this baby now? If you think you know what happened just now, Aishugul, you're wrong. Honey, my beautiful granddaughter. We went through very hard times, but this baby, she cannot endure all this. Maybe you are right. Maybe Aishigal is mistaken. However, neither you nor me or anyone else can put the baby at risk. I won't put her at risk. I am her mother. I know, sweetie. Your first concern must be the baby. <gasps> you were right, Demir. I can't. I can't escape all this. No one believes me anymore. The worst part is I don't believe in myself. I don't trust me. Ellis. My baby. Mommy. Don't leave me alone. Mommy. My baby. Mommy. Ellis. Mommy. Elif! Mommy, don't leave me. Don't leave me, Mommy. Stay with me. Please stay Elif. with me. My baby. Elif. My life. No. No, I can't do this. Grandma? Grandma, where are you? Where are you, Grandma? 
Aishagul. <gasps> My baby. Aishagul. What happened to my baby? Where did she go? Grandma took her away. Where did she take her? To give her up for adoption. She talked to the doctor about Elif before, just in case. Aslam, I'm so sorry. But you are in no condition to take care of her. I am. I am a good mother. You shouldn't have done this. Oh. Where are you going? Uslam? Uslam, come back! Come back. Lady, where's my mommy? Did you get lost? What does that word mean? <laughs> it means that you don't know where you are. Come on, let's find your mom. Aleph? Aleph! Uh. What are you doing? Is your name Elif? Uh-huh. Come it's on. It's a beautiful name. God, show me the right path. Keep the drugs away from me. Help me. Forgive me. I know my granddaughter. I am sure she will quit. However, while she is struggling to free herself of this poison, I don't want this little girl to get hurt. God knows. My intentions are good and my heart is breaking. I am scared. It's a big sin to separate a child from her mother. But Uslam didn't leave me any other choice. I'm so disappointed. The effort she made during the pregnancy really impressed me. But drug addiction is so difficult. An addict can get themselves clean, but they're still dependent. Many former addicts often return to drug use even if they've been clean for years. Words are not enough to explain what a good girl she is, but she had a very unfortunate marriage. Life doesn't always go the way we want it to. The important thing is to cope with it. I will take the baby from you. I've talked to the social services. After the formal processes are done, Elif will be given to a good family who loves her. I'll supervise her case. Honey, baby, my dear Come in. baby. Come Elif! Sweetie! Grandma, please don't take her away from me. Don't. Please give me one more chance. I promise I'm clean and I'll never in my life touch that poison again. I have put my family through that terrible nightmare for the very last time. Please don't separate us. If you do, I can't live. I can't. I just can't. God help me. Okay, Oslo. I'll make a deal with you. While you're in recovery, we'll take care of your baby for you. You can have her back once you're clean. But wait! Wait, I am clean! I started fasting today. Look here. And over here. My arms have no bruises. Take my blood and test it. All right. Stop by the lab on your way out and give us a sample. We'll get the results back around this time tomorrow. <laughs> My baby. Honey. Honey, I believe in you. But this is such a critical time and I don't trust some of the people around you. I don't trust that Demir at all. Then I will wait. I'll wait until you all trust me. I'll prove to you that I don't lie. You will see the truth, baby. I will be such a great mom. You're a blessing from God to me. I'll be such a great mother for you. The kind of mother that you deserve. I'll never leave you alone. I love you. Please, God, accept my sister's repentance. Please do not let her make the same mistakes again. Her heart is so pure. You are the one who knows the essence of all the hearts. Let her be as hopeful and as good as she used to be, the way she was before the drugs. Please, God, please, I beg you. Where are you going, honey? I have one thing left to do. I'll be... right back. Take good care of Elif. Oh. Welcome. You were right, Demir. Come in. 
There's no way out of this dirt. I have to learn to live this way. Great. I'm really glad you came here. Me too. I'm ready to share your life. You help me to understand. The secret of life is emptiness. I get it now. The hope, virtue, true love. It's all garbage. It's meaningless. I think it's better to forget about everything. Have lots of fun and then die. You surprise me, Uslem. What about the baby? Someone adopted her. I sold her. And I got this money in return. Come on now, and give me what I need. Check this out. I have some awesome news. I just got promoted, so I'm a dealer now. I'm gonna really make it big. We will make a lot of money. You and me, baby. Both of us. Delek here now? Delek's dead. Overdose. They found her in a bathroom. Too bad. Hey, I'll show you my stock. Come here. Look. Open up. It's the police. police. What's going on? Open up. Narcotics. Everybody, freeze. Hands in the air. I'll kill you. You. Hey, freeze. You're under arrest. Don't move. Come here, you. Good work. Right you better get out of here now. We'll take it from here. I said don't move. Narcotics. Hands in the air. Don't move and line up in front of the Turn around. Wall. On the floor. Stupid Shut up, Shut up. Why don't you leave this way, man? You're on me. Check upstairs. Oh my god, Demir is coming. You're going to pay for what you did, Oslem. Narcotics destroyed you. But it was your choice to do that, wasn't it, Demir? No one forced you to do drugs. It was your decision to poison the organs that God gave you. And now you will pay for every cell you damaged. For the life you wasted. No! The people you harmed and deceived. Now it is time to face them. Are you ready for that? Even if I'm not, what can I do? When you sold drugs to people, you destroyed their lives. Now you must face them, hear what they say. They will tell us what you did to them, and you will listen to what they say. I can't. I... They are all here, the families whose lives you made a living hell. 
They line up by the thousands, waiting for you to explain yourself. No! What about your wife, whose innocence you took? What about her? No! No! I'm not strong enough to handle this! You are responsible for committing many different kinds of crimes. And your final crime is murder. Taking an innocent life is a truly unforgivable sin. Do you know which afterlife awaits you? I do! It's burning an eternal fire! You had the capacity to be a beneficial person. And you heard the invitations to pray to God five times a day. But I acted like I didn't hear them. Do you want to tell me what happens to all of those people who reject God's gifts, ignore His blessings, and make a waste of their lives? Those who refuse to see God, His will, in everything that surrounds them, will be blind, deaf, and mute in this place. Was your life worth it? Uh, uh, to be honest, I use drugs to avoid thinking about that. But as you see, reality is still here. There's nothing to numb you now. You put others in pain, so you will go on in pain. Please. Please. <laughs> Please give me an opportunity. One little chance. Oh. I'm so weak. <laughs> I can't carry this burden. No. I beg you, God, please. <laughs> Life is an opportunity. The profit is endless happiness. Existence is what one borrows. Taking its responsibility and protecting it is happiness. Your life is lost now. Your existence is lost. Your future goes to disaster. What a pity. What a pity. Was it worth it? You have been defeated by yourself. You were your own worst enemy. You had a marriage that was full of mistakes. It's true. Your husband made you use drugs, didn't he? He did. Do you regret anything? I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry I quit my daily prayers. And I'm... I'm sorry that I... I stopped my weekly fastings. And why did you do that? It was the drugs. I lost my mind. I lost my power. Once you lost your will, your connection to religion ended as well. And then... My baby. And I wanted to kill my baby. But you returned to your faith. And to your daily prayers, didn't you? Is there anything you have forgotten? As far as I know, I didn't. There was a short period of emptiness in my life. And then I, and then I fixed it. People are afraid of resisting those who are evil. So why did you do something that ended up costing you your life, Uslim? Well, my family suffered a lot. If those people kept selling their drugs, other families were going to suffer like mine did. You gave your life so that others could live. 
This sacrifice of yours is so great that your reward will be even greater than you can know. Oh, really? I don't understand why it's so important. You see, the lengths you will go to to correct your sin is what matters to God. Another surprise waits for you here. Really? What kind of surprise? While all the obligatory prayers carry great weight here, other prayers are priceless. You made all your obligatory ones, but your additional ones helped you. Furthermore, when you died, you were in the middle of fasting. Thank you, my lord. Then what is going to happen to me? No one is ever saved unless it is the will of God. Oh, am I? God's mercy is not something that may be easily bargained for. <laughs> What about, what about the surprise you just mentioned? You ask for something that is not mine to give. What's going to happen to me now? I don't know. I'm just the mirror of your conscience. I reflect how you lived your life. But what about my future? When God shows you his infinite mercy, all your concerns of your future will disappear. Why weep? You're where everything ends. You said my future is unknown. What is going to happen to me? Please show me the way out. One exit. A solution. Tell me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>